Hello, hello. Welcome, friends, to our channel where we are basically trying to present lessons in mathematics. These lessons are meant for people that are um, writing the ECZ exams, okay? As well as, as for those people that could, um, could be teaching, all right? They could be teaching and my, uh, they might need some reference. So this could also be used as a reference, okay? So if you're a teacher and you want maybe some information on calculus, uh, the channel is here providing the much needed information. So you could do just uh, subscribe so that you're able to get um, updated videos. Okay, so our interest in this presentation is now to uh, deal with the equation of the tangent and the normal, right? Uh, in the previous uh, presentation or video, we looked at how to get the gradient of the tangent and the normal to the curve. Then the question is, how do we get the equation of uh, these two lines? Okay, how do we get the equation of the tangent as well as the equation of the, the normal to the curve? So now, we are saying, when we are dealing with these two concepts, here we make use of this formula, which is very cardinal. All right? Um, this formula was well explained, I think, under coordinate geometry. So again, for you to, to survive here, you need um, uh, coordinate geometry as well as index notation. Very crucial. So now, we are saying the formula that we are going to use, or that we are going to apply, is y, uh, y take note, y minus y1, okay, take note, this is supposed to be a 1, y minus y1, okay, is equal to m, open bracket, x minus x1, where m is the gradient, alright, so y minus y1 is equal to m, open bracket, x minus x1, then close the bracket, so by this, we are able to get the equation of the normal uh, as well as the, the tangent. But the starting point is to get the gradient. Okay, so now, um, let's look at this question. Find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve. Okay, y is equal to x plus 4 over x at the, at the point uh, where x is equal to, is equal to negative 2. Now, look at this point. Here we only have one point. So it is advisable that for you to get the, the equation of a normal and the tangent, it's better if you get the other point or the other value of y. Alright? So, what we are going to do is, we, uh, we can get the value of y in advance. Alright? How? We know that our value of x here is e, negative 2. So we are going to put negative 2 whatever is x. Alright? So we are going to say 2 open bracket negative 2 plus 4 over negative 2 what we get okay so here we are going to get uh, negative 4 all right minus uh, negative 2 and we get negative 6 all right that is the the, the point so in other words, we want to find the equation of the tangent and the normal at the point now. So the point, the point in question, or the point that we are dealing with, is negative 2 comma negative what? 6 at this point. Alright? So now, how do we get the, the equation of the tangent? Alright? Equation of the tangent. To the curve. So, by applying this formula, we need to get the gradient of the tangent. Alright? So now, to get the gradient of the tangent, we need to differentiate the function given. So the function given is y is equal to x plus 4 over x. Alright? But I would encourage you to rewrite this function um, in such a manner that you have a function that is user friendly, okay? A function that will not give you problems when differentiating. So how do we rewrite? We would say, okay, this is the two x plus um, four power negative four x to the power negative one. Where are we getting this? Again, index notation is very cardinal here. If you are 
you have 4 over x, what does this mean? This means you are saying 4 by 1 over x. Right? Again, this implies that we have 4 times. 1 over, the, uh, 1 over x is an index. So we have x to the power negative 1. And when you multiply this, you get 4x to the power negative 1. Okay? So, here now, we can differentiate. So we are going to say, to find the gradient first, because the formula demands that we get the gradient. So to find the gradient, we say dy dx is given as, uh, take note, here the power is a, a 1. Okay? So 1 by 2, we get a 2x. So here we get 1, so we say 1 minus 1. Alright? Minus, why am I putting a minus? Because the power there has negative. So, negative 1 by 4, we get negative 4. x, negative 1 minus 1. Alright? So, dy dx is equal to uh, 2xc to the power 0 minus 4 over, or 4x to the power negative 2. Okay? But this is equal to, 2x to the power 0 is 2, plus, alright, 4 over x squared. Again, how to change this demands that you have a full understanding of index notation. So, we have uh, about 6 uh, videos on index notation. So, I would encourage you to go there, take your time, watch those videos, you'll be able to appreciate what we are saying. And how you can manipulate these things. So that is our gradient, okay? But this is just a function because we have 2 plus 4 uh, divided by x squared. Okay? So now we must get the actual value now. Okay? So now we are going to say dy dx is equal to, we are finding the gradient here at the point where x is negative 2. Okay, so we'll say 2 plus 4 divided by, here where there's x, here we are going to put negative 2. Alright, so we'll say negative 2 squared. This is equal to 2 plus 4 divided by what? 4. Alright? 4 divided by 4. Okay. So we are saying 2 plus 4 divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 plus 2, 3. So that is our gradient. That is our gradient. Okay. That is our gradient. Okay, so that is our gradient. Now, to find the actual equation of the tangent, right, we are going to say y minus y1 is equal to mx minus xc1. Now, what is the y1? What is the x1 as well as the m? Our x1 is this value here of, I mean, our y1 is this value of y here, so it is the negative 6. Our gradient is the one that we have found here to be 3. Okay? Then, our x1 is the value of x which is negative 2. So, we just do the substitution. We plug in these values into the equation. So, we say y minus, what is our y1? Will be negative 6. So, we are going to say minus 6 is equal to, what is our gradient? Our gradient is e, 3. So we write 3. Open bracket x minus. What is our x1? Our x1 is negative 2. So I will write my own negative 2. Do not leave that negative because of this. This negative is coming from the formula. So the 2 is coming with its own negative, which is that. So you put there. Okay? So here we can combine these signs. Negative multiplied by negative, we get a positive. 6 is equal to 3, open bracket, x, negative by negative, we have a positive 2. Alright. 
So we can distribute okay, that one is supposed to be plus six first. We can distribute this three throughout. So three by x, three x plus three by two, we get a what? A six. Alright? We get a, a six. So now how do we solve for y? By adding a negative six here and a negative six. So it just takes six to the other side. So we have y is equal to 3x plus 6 minus 6, all right? So y is equal to 3x. This is the equation of the tangent. Then you're done. So that's the equation of the tangent. Okay, then from here now, we must get the equation of the normal. Equation of the normal. So, we get the equation of the normal. So now, to get the equation of the normal, we will rely again on this equation. Okay? Meaning that, we need the gradient of the normal. Alright? So remember, we are dealing with the, the equation of the normal at the point negative 2, comma negative what? 6. Alright? Now, we have to find the, the gradient of the normal. But remember the relationship. We are saying the gradient of the tangent multiplied by the gradient of the normal, the answer must be negative 2. Alright? But the gradient of the tangent was 3. Okay, so here we say 3 multiplied by m2, the answer is negative 1. Dividing both sides by 3, we get m2 to be negative 1 divided by 3. So you divide by 3 by 3, you get that. Okay, so that is the, the gradient of the norm. To get the, the equation of the norm now, we do the substitution. So we are going to say, y minus, what is our y1? Again, it's negative 6. So I'll put negative 6 is equal to, <coughs> so what is our gradient? It's negative 1 divided by 3. x minus, uh, h1 is negative 2. Okay. So again, when we distribute the sign, here we have plus 6 is equal to negative 1 over 3 x plus what? plus 2 okay now if you have a fraction like this the best is you multiply both sides by the denominator all right which is what? 3 so you're going to multiply here you say 3 open bracket y plus 6 is equal to negative 1 divided by 3 x plus 2 multiplied by 3 why are we doing that? we want to get rid of the fraction okay so here, when you multiply, you have 3y plus 18 is equal to negative 3 and the negative 3 will divide. So you have now negative 1. So negative 1 by x, negative x minus 2. Okay? So here now we can go for like terms. Okay, so you can say 3y is equal to negative x minus 2 minus uh, 18. Okay. That's what we are going to have there. That's what we are going to have there. <coughs> okay. Let me erase this. Okay. So now, our equation would be 3y is equal to negative x minus 20. And this is the, the equation of the norm. That is done, friends. Okay? So that's, our, that's the equation of the, the norm. And the equation of the tangent is that. Okay? But it's not wrong for you to say 3y plus x is equal to negative 20. It is still very okay here. Alright? So that's how we get the, the equation of the tangent and the normal. I hope you have enjoyed my presentation.
If you have enjoyed my presentation, I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that you are able to receive or to have or to view um, such videos. Okay, we are yet to present videos on trigonometry, video, uh, videos on uh, statistics, uh, videos on um, ethic geometry, videos on um, uh, 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 videos on transformation. So please subscribe to this channel. Share the link with your friends. I think you'll be able to, to get maximum benefits. Thanks so much.